Yeah, what's up, everybody? DJ Mad M A D, and I am here to be talking about uh, stuff. Okay, um, <laughs> today I'm going to be talking about vocal align in Cubase 7.5. Why do I want to talk about this? Because I feel that uh, Synchrosoft did a horrible job explaining on how to set this uh, this thing up on Cubase. Uh, and most importantly, I think that it works. That, you know what you you know what you have to do. I I really I think that it did a horrible job on how it functions and stuff like that. I think the best software that uses uh, Vocal Online is is uh, is Pro Tools. But we all know the Pro Tools Pro Fools. Anyway, that's my opinion. So before we get we dive into the video, I, want, I would like to ask you to please hit the like button and to subscribe. It will encourage me to continue doing these types of videos. And also, if you want to learn a little more about Cubase, uh, there's a really cool website called uh, LearnToProduce.com, which I actually have a link below. They have a whole bunch of uh, classes, master classes, and stuff like that. And if you click on the link below, you will get my DJ Man special discount. So make sure you go ahead and click on that, and let's dive right into the video. All right, so. Vocal align and Cubase 7.5. What do you need to do first? First of all, you got to have a lead and then you got to have a dub. So, uh, we're going to create a lead, which, yes, I am about to freestyle this funky beat. So, check it out. Uh, here we go. You ready? One, two. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I know. So, <laughs> I'm going to do a dub on, on this. Don't kick it freestyle, you know what I mean? Here you go. You ready? One, two. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so now I have a lead and I have a dub, and let's hear how it sounds. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so you can tell that it's a little bit behind in some, some parts. Um, I mean, don't expect vocal line, like, let's say if you have, like, a, a audio that's completely off, don't expect vocal line to actually align it, because it doesn't really work that way. It has to be kind of, like, very close for it to actually do what it's supposed to do, which I think they should work on that, too. Uh, anyway, uh, but who am I? Anyway, so, first thing you want to do, you want to select the dub, uh, highlight, double, or whatever you want to call it, and you want to load up vocal line. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to load up vocal line. And I'm going to turn on sidechain on the lead, which this is the, the one that I want the, the dub to follow. I am going to send the signal to a sidechain that I just turned on on vocal line. I'm going to turn it on and make sure it's on zero. Going back to the dub, I'm going to select vocal line and I'm going to click on this button right here, which is called capture audio. And you want to move back on the cursor because you want to give it enough, enough space for it to do what it does. So here we go. All you got to do is hit play and it will capture it. You ready? One, two. One, two, three, four, five. All right, now that it has captured it, uh, you, you see the representations of the waveforms right here. Uh, first thing you want to do, you want to hit this little button called Analyze. And it, this little thing pops up and whatever it does, I don't know. And then you hit align. And once you hit align, it should sound a little better. So, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. So it definitely tightened it up a bit. Like I said, it doesn't do, like, I personally feel the vocal line, it, it, you know, sometimes it works super, super, and sometimes it doesn't. You know, let's see if I put high... High flexibility. Let me see what happens with that. Align. Okay. I don't know why I did that, but let's, let's see. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that was not working. Uh, maximum, maximum expansion. Whatever that means. Align. Let's see what that does. One, two... One, two, three, four, five. Actually, that did it pretty, pretty good. All right, so maximum expansion. Never tried that before, and that's what I'm going to use from now on because it actually works the best. So once you have the audio done, I'm pretty sure you 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 will ask this questions, which that's what I ask. Okay, if I if I have a thousand ad libs and whatever, do I have to add an instance of vocal line in each one? Yes, which I think it sucks, donkey balls. Um. The workaround this is very simple. You want to 
uh, bounce this audio on the, you know, when you go to file, um, where it's export audio mix down. And then you go to channel batch and then you will select dub and then you will export that and bring it back into the project. I think that that's just too much work. I think the Cubase needs to work on their routing system and their bouncing capabilities, bouncing place and stuff. Uh, but most importantly, I think that it should just be, you should just be able to have a floating plugin where you'll be able to select different tracks and, okay, it should be like, okay, select, uh, capture audio here for the lead. And then I mean, once you select the other audio, the other region, it should be like, okay, this is select the button here that will say, uh, capture the, the dub and then you should be able to align just by hitting process or something like that, which, uh, that'll be in a perfect world, which it doesn't exist. So the way I did it, I find it the fastest way. So I won't have to have a whole bunch of instances of, a uh, of a uh, vocal line is I went on device VST connections and I went on output and I created a, rec uh, a mono output it has to be mono because that's what i'm bouncing if you create a stereo it won't show up on on, on receiving into a mono track so i created a mono um uh, it has no output and close that i already created it so it's cool and then on the dub let me close the uh, vocal line on the dub i'm gonna go here and see i already have the output code record so i'm gonna select that and i'm gonna turn that on keep it at zero and I already created a track that I want to record on. So on this one, the input, I'm going to select output record. So now all I got to do is press record and capture the vocal line process track. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five. So once I have that, I could delete this one. And now I got the vocal line track. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. And that's the best, fastest way that I found to um, to replace the the tracks and not to have a whole bunch of instances of vocal align. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that, that for those of you who were looking for a way of uh, vocal aligning on Cubase. Oh, and by the way, I think that Synchrosoft is... On crack because they think that that you know the plugin is worth all that money. Although yes, I did pay for it because I really, really, really needed it. But is it worth six hundred dollars? No, it's not. Okay, if you're thinking about buying Synchrosoft uh, uh, Vocal Align Pro, or whatever, I think that they 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 I think they smoking crack by actually uh, charging so much money for such a simple plugin. I mean, think about it. Six hundred dollars is actually cost. The same as as uh, any regular doll. Like Cubase costs six hundred bucks. So you're telling me that I gotta buy Cubase again just to have that feature? You know, like I don't know. I'm just ranting over here. The point is that if you agree, uh, leave a comment below. If you don't agree, think I'm just bugging out. Leave a comment below too. I really don't care. Just remember that I'm doing this for those who are actually looking for help and trying to find other alternatives to use certain things. And if I helped you out here, uh, I'm very happy. And if I didn't, please leave your negative comments to yourself. Thank you so much. And do remember to go to learnhowtoproduce.com, which I actually have a link right below. Where if you link, if you click on that link, you will get a discount. A special DJ Mad discount, and you will find a whole bunch of Cubase 7.5 master classes. And um, that's about it. Please hit the like, the, the like button and subscribe. Like I mentioned before, it will encourage me to do more of these videos. DJ Mad M A D. Follow me, D E E J A Y M A D. Thank you very much, and have an amazing, awesome day.